Hello, I'm Zach Hutter. Uh, this is my video for microeconomics. Um, what I'm doing my topic on is the stag hunt game uh, and game theory. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is the Nash equilibrium in the stag hunt. So the stag hunt is there's two hunters that go out to catch meat. There are two rabbits in the two rabbits in the range and one stag. The hunters bring everything necessary to hunt either one of the animals, but cannot coordinate together with one another before they go out. So the stag is worth six units of meats and each rabbit is equal to one. The stag has more meat than both the rabbits combined, but both hunters must chase the stag in order to catch it. And the hunters can catch all the prey by themselves otherwise. So, when we look at the matrix, you can see that both players hunt the stag, they each go home with three pieces of meat. If player one hunts the stag, then player two has the option to either hunt the stag as well, or hunt the rabbit, in which case player one would have zero because they need both of them to hunt the stag, and player two would go home with two, and vice versa. If player one were to hunt the rabbit, and player two were to hunt the rabbit, they'd each go home with one, or if player two decided to hunt the stag while player one hunted the rabbit, player two would go home with zero, player one would go home with two pieces of meat, or two of the rabbits, I should say. So, in normal games, you would have a dominant strategy. Unlike normal games, this one has the Nash Equilibrium. And Nash Equilibrium summed up is pretty much whatever you are doing is optimal given what I am doing. And vice versa, just like I kind of explained. So, like I said, if player one were to go out and hunt the stag and knew, and player two knew that he was going to hunt the stag, he would choose to hunt the stag as well because he knows that three is greater than zero, or three is greater than two, or zero if he hunted the rabbit. So he would also choose to hunt the stag. Now, if player two knew, knew that player one was going to hunt the rabbit, then player two would want to hunt the rabbit because instead of going home with zero, he would be going home with one. And that is the Nash Equilibrium.